Okay, let's play Blitzstream. Let's go E3. Let's play Knight F3. Let's play D4. Of course, Blitzstream is a uh, French streamer. Um, Kevin Bordy, I believe, is his name. Very, very, uh, very talented streamer. His his actual rating is surprisingly low. He's he's much better than his rating. Um, I think his actual rating is something ridiculous, like twenty three hundred. But he plays he plays much better than that from the from what I've played against him in the past. Now I think C five is a move, but I'm just gonna play H three here. Oh, switch scene. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Um, wrong scene. There we go. I think that's right. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's go here. Compliment? Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of people like him. There are a lot of people who are like lower rated in classical chess who play really, really good blitz. I don't know why that is, but that seems to be pretty common. Thank you, Newton's Law for the Prime. I guess I can just take and play e4 next move. I think I do take. He takes, I go e4. Yeah, and this should be pretty good for white. Like Hans is an Hans is an example. There are many examples. Um, Hans is a little bit strong. Hans is like I am going on GM, so it's like I mean that that's actually not that surprising. But there are a lot of FMs who are like twenty three hundred over the board who are um, who play much better, much better online. Actually, not even online, but they're just in blitz. They're just much stronger at blitz chess than they are at um at, at like classical. Okay, the problem for for Blitzstream is now his knight's getting trapped on the edge. Pawns hold the glue here. Fast reflexes, yeah, that, that also definitely plays a role too. Okay, I uh, if I take he has f6, hmm, I can also just go g4. Hmm, I don't like it. Let's just take. Let's just take. Okay, let's just go back to d2. Probably I'm going to play g4 next move. Um, We'll see what happens. Penguin, yeah, but I mean, when I think of Andrew and I think of Hans, there are people, there are people who like. I, maybe it's just because I've seen many more of their games, but I feel like it's more inherently clear, clear cut. Now I think I go here. So if he takes, I check and I just win the game. Um, and I also bishop about five at some point too. Let's go here, target the knight. Now I just go rookie two, and I keep my rooks in the center. Thank you to Gurps for the prime. Thank you, Gurps. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Let's go here. If knight c4, I just move the queen. I also b3, maybe. Thank you to ITX for the prime. Thank you, ITX. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Maybe I have rookie seven at some moment as well, so it should be pretty good. Let's just take and drop back. Maybe b3, maybe rookie one, maybe rookie six, rookie seven. Oh, but he has knight b5. Hmm. I go a4. Still good, but I'm not thrilled. Um. Guess I play a4 because I, I really do need to stop the knight from coming to b5. I'm gonna go b3 because now I take both jumps. That doesn't actually concern me. I think I'm just gonna go rook d2. I should have checked first. Now I will check. I can play rook e rook e2 here probably. Because now the knight has no good squares, which is very important in this end game. Let's go here. If knight f5, I just take. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I know, I know why it happens. I understand. I'm just saying that it seems to be, it's, it's a phenomenon that I don't feel like I see any, any, anywhere else. Like, I don't, I, I just, I don't feel like I see 1900s, for example. But it, there are always these, there are a lot of these like FMs who are really, really strong at Blitz. Could Alpha Zero beat me down a knight? No, it, computers could beat me down two pawns, not down a knight though. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go. Ale, ale, ale. Let's just go straight in. I mean, he has C4, but I just drop back, and it should be winning. So I just keep going. Just keep going, H7. And this surely is winning. I'll just move my king up. I don't think this was necessary, but whatever. It's still winning. Ah, oh, he finds a tricky move. Like, a very tricky move. Wait, what is this? Rook h8, takes queen d2, king d3. <laughs> king d3, and somehow he's surviving, though. Oh, no, actually, I can just take and go here. Actually, now I, I, I get the bind. 
So never mind. That's good enough. Okay, that's one. Let's keep going. Goes to h4. Let's play knight f6. Let's go d5. Maybe knight d7, c6. My DPI is 800, by the way. It's not set. It's not set super, super insane. Let's go here and here. Let's go a6. Maybe c5. Maybe e6. Maybe b5 is a move. I'll just play e6. Maybe bishop b6. Maybe b5. Actually, even just c5 looks good here. Thank you to Vasco for the seven. Thank you so much. Or for the prime, sorry. I think it locked them doors for prime. I think Yolo Modi Bodhi for the seven months. Sorry, that got them mixed up. Let's go C4. I think I'm going to do this and just take and go Knight E4. I, I know this is not supposed to be the best way to play it, but it seems kind of interesting here. Mo Salah posted a picture of Instagram and playing chess to try to get a game. Um, yeah, I mean, I... I uh, I'm, I'm pretty busy, but yeah, definitely I, I could try to. Can I play against this IM from yesterday? No, you guys. We, we already spoke about I spoke about that earlier. Um, uh, what do I want to do? Queen a5 is a move. I guess I'm just going to take and maybe castle. I, I, this is probably insane what I'm doing, by the way. Don't try this at home where you just you move the bishop and you don't fianchito it. Thank you to Reality's Pizza for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, interesting. Let's go here and I guess f5 maybe he goes back and maybe f5 maybe not f5 I think I, I think I should play f5 maybe I should have even taken first but who knows I'm gonna go here and I really want to go g5 at some point okay actually that's a good move I missed that completely yikes let's go over g8 I guess if I get g4 I'm probably doing really well here Okay, now I do have g4, I thought. Let's just go g4. Oh, if you can just take. I guess I go back and around. Do I have g3 here? I think I do. Let's go here and come back. I'm so close to winning here, but I don't know if I actually am winning. Okay, it goes there, I go here. Actually, he kind of inadvertently just checkmated himself in the corner. What he needed to do was move the bishop and move the rook, and he was... Um, this should just be checkmate. He needed to put the bishop here, move the rook, and run with the king, because there was no way for me to get a checkmate if he had moved the rook. Put the bishop here, move the rook, and run the king to the center of the board. Now I think it's too late. Let's go here, and now... I Go check, check, and GG's. Oh, Queen G2 is mate in one. What am I doing? <laughs> that was mate in one. I'm so bad at chess. Okay, let's keep going. Let's play E4. Let's go Knight C3. Let's go Knight C3 and D4. I mean, I, I, I mean, I should win the majority of the games, but what I'm saying in general is that with Blitzstream, I think his over the board rating is 2300, but I do have to pay attention. Like I do need to be sharp and, and cognizant because otherwise something bad can happen. And 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 actually, I, I think like he drew Magnus in a game. He's definitely, um, he, he, he did he even beat me in a game in a title Tuesday maybe? I think it wasn't something that mattered, no less. So I was not very happy about that. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, he's very good. I mean, there's some 2300s where I don't really need to focus, but against him, I really do. You can play a4, maybe? Maybe bishop b2? I feel like there should be some tactics here, too, though. Let's just play a4, b4, knight e4, and take and take. I think he's supposed to go a6, but eh, I don't like my position. Let's go here and here. I think you'd hold again for the nine months. I think you'd hold again. I think you'd have happy Siphius for the prime as well. Thank you so much. This is not good. Should not have played a gambit. Yeah, he's not a pro. Not 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 at all. So his the level of his play is fantastic. I should have probably taken with a pawn, but <clears throat> but whatever. 
Yeah, I mean, also the other thing is normally as players this level, it's actually a big mistake to play something like that's unsound because normally my one of the biggest advantages a player of my, my level should have against someone like Blitzstream is the uh, is the technique as opposed to just like tactics and, and playing playing more kind of random stuff. I guess I have Bishop F4 coming as well, but this is not good. Make no mistake, this is not a good position. I'm down a pawn and I'm not doing well. Wait, that's not a good move, however. That's really not a good move because it creates a big weakness here on A5. I guess if he moves the queen, I can just move my queen over or something. Let's go here. The idea is that I want to play knight b6 and fork the queen and the rook. And I also clear the lane to play rook e5 and attack the juicer on e5. 25 3 1. No, I know I have a big score against him. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm aware of that. Now, do I play rook e5 and take, or do I just. I think I just go for the go for the exchange right away. I'm not thrilled, actually, with the position, to be honest. But it should be good. Just take the rook. And now I guess I go rook c1. I got to hold the glue here in the center. Position is not fabulous. Definitely not the position that I was hoping for. Although I think now he gives me c3. I think he does. Because now I have c3 and I should be doing well. The one thing black had was a good structure. And I, oh man, I thought I could play c3. And I cannot play c3. And now this is going to be very tricky. I'm still probably better, but it's going to be very, very difficult to win this. I mean, I might have to even just flag him, which is pretty sad. Okay, he missed c5. c5 was definitely winning for him. Maybe winning is too strong a word to use, but it was good. Now, obviously, sack. I don't want to. Let's just do this and take. Okay, now he's starting to go wrong. I'm lucky. Um, let's go here. Oh, why did I do that? He's got queen d5. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Okay, I think that's a mistake though because now he lets me plant the pawns. Not playing this game well. This one is pretty bad. Let's go here. Also, I should have gone bishop c7. Because yeah, is eat this. I'll go here. here I think I play a four I have to lock this up somehow so if he gets the pawns rolling I'm in really bad shape okay let's go here let's go check go here hit the juicer on c6 I just take so I have rook c7 check or something It's not easy, but I think I'm winning. I take and I go king h2, and I, his king is too open here, so he should be getting checkmated, I think. Let's go check. Let's go check. Let's go here, and I hit... The, oh, he's got queen h5, which I also did not see at all. Okay, it's still a win, though. It's still a win. It's 3-0. Oh. Let's go here on bishop g7. Let's go here, let's play d6, c6, maybe d5. Thank you, Alu Warden for three months. Thank you, uh, Y Lace Llama for the two. Uh, I just rubbed my nose, I'm gonna sneeze in a second, one second. Ugh. Okay, let's go to 97. Thank you. Okay, let's play 97, h6, of course. Yeah, I, I know you guys are gonna do that, of course. Yeah, any sneeze, please. Ah, oh, so annoying that people can't be rational anymore. Just castle. Let's play rook c8. I guess I just take. Let's go here. And play c5 maybe and just trade. Thirty-two fifty, Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to go here. 
Oh, he's in knight f4. I guess I'll go knight g8. Gotta be very careful because this is really tricky. Page 6 or king h8. Oh, this is his last match. He's leaving his stream to Sebastian, Sebastian Mazze. Oh, okay. All right. Fair enough. No, no, it's all good. Yeah, t Tilted Tuesday is tomorrow again, as, as usual. Okay, I can play h6 here. Takes is not a threat. I think I'd do this. Because if he takes, I just take. Okay, now I go here. I kick the queen back even further. I guess he goes to e2, and then I go to e5. And this should be very pleasant for me. Let's go to e5, hit the juicer. I've got to be careful there's no knight d3, which is why next move I play c4 or knight g4 based on where the queen goes. Thank you, Dindor, for the gift of sub. Appreciate it. And thank you for the prime as well. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Schlank, for the gift of sub too. Thank you so much, man. Okay, goes queen one. He wants knight d3, so I have to stop this, this juicer square. If he takes, maybe I take with the rook. Okay, he goes b4. That actually looks like a bad move to me. Question is, how do I punish him for it? Which I'm not sure I can. I also go g5, but that looks so bold and aggressive. I don't know if I really believe in it. So I think I'll just play rook d8, knight c8. I always have knight g4 at some point to kick the queen. Let's go now. Maybe queen c1, I just drop my queen back. Okay, goes queen f4, which I think makes me very happy because now I take, if he takes, I have e5 and his pawn. Okay, he does it really interesting. So the f3, I've really, wow. I'm a little bit confused by his play in this game. Let's go here. Let's go here, knight e3 is my idea. He's actually doing, he's doing pretty well this game. Thank you fly to fly for the two months. Thanks so much, man. Knight d5, so obviously I will take. Let's, why did I do this? Let's put the knight back. I really did not play this well. What am I doing even? Let's go here and here. I really butchered this. Why did I play this endgame even? I, I'm so confused by my play today. Yeah, I don't even know why I did this. I just played it so poorly. Can't believe that I did this. Okay, plays e5, which is not best, but it's good enough, I guess. I mean, do I really want to flag him is also another question. I kind of don't, but my rating's on the line, so I kind of do. Is this actually a draw though? Is this a draw if I flag him here? Because I don't think it is. It's not, okay. Whatever. Yeah, I mean I'm no, I mean I'm not happy about that, but whatever. Without the bishop it's a draw, yeah. Without the bishop it's a draw. With the bishop you can create a checkmate. Um yeah. So such is life. Dirty flagger, hey, I'm not gonna pretend that wasn't a dirty flag. Of course it was. 
I mean, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm not, I'm not happy about that game, but it's, it's a win. So, yeah, there's a clock for a reason. No, no, I know. I'm just, I'm not happy with the game, but such is life.